<coughs> Good morning, Jotman. So I'm a little, a little late on pushing out Ritual Misery from last week, which is a shame because it was a, a, an amazing show with uh, Christy Cates on. So instead of just pushing it out, I figured I'd share and uh, let everybody know exactly what all goes into pushing it out, publishing, uh, having fun with it, that kind of stuff. So let's let's get started. First thing I need to do is go in here. OBS folder, there it is right there. And uh, using OBS, I'm gonna browse, find the file, and remux it as before. That's actually, I think, this recording right now. So that uh, isn't so effective. Go in here. There we go. That's better. Now we need to actually I need to do the details cleaner. Where are all the details? There we go. All right. So here we have, I've already made a copy of the audition file that I used to, to record it, which is good. So let's go ahead and open audition. Move that over to this window. Now I can use it, 146. And I moved the file, so let's save as Unfortunately, when I set it up, I had actually recorded. Uh, I set it up as a multi track because I was kind of in a hurry. So I've got all these extra tracks right here that uh, I don't need. But we will just worry about the ones that we have. <coughs> <laughs> uh, Debbie Scott is one uh, you know I gotta get this episode of Ritual Misery out so I figured I'd share with everybody a little behind the scenes if you will hey, um, we kind of closed down Monday Music News um I want to bring it back in a new incarnation, but I just haven't, as you just mentioned, I haven't quite had time to do that yet. Hit that button right over there. This button right here? Uh, nope, the other one. The other one? I don't I don't think that's a button, though. <laughs> <laughs> I just like building the anticipation. <laughs> okay, so what we have here. I don't know how many, I don't know if... <coughs> Uh, yeah, Debbie Scott is one I got Streamlabs. Uh, you know what? It's uh, just whatever works. Whatever is whatever is going to make this the Twitch stream the most usable um, in order to to use it easily. I'm, I'm all about simplicity. So if you give me the utility utility that I need for the simplicity that I want, I'm all for it. First things first, let's go ahead and grab 
all of these. And the first thing I do is match loudness. And then have it set up to negative or to minus eighteen luffs. Um these all the all these settings I got from, from the web and uh it's how I <coughs> it's how I get, you know, equal sound for everybody. Then I'll go through and delete some of the you know, raise the noise floor, um uh, and get rid of some of the background noise. Wow, this usually doesn't take this long. I wonder if I've got something set up weird on my computer. Let's go down here to chat box. Let's fix that real quick. Because that was supposed to be like that. Hit save. There we go. Okay, so let's, let's cancel that. I don't know what's going on with that. That was kind of ridiculous. So let's see here. We take drag it down there. Let it do what it does. I almost feel like I should have some, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, some music playing in the background, but uh, you know that's the whole copyright infringement thing. I don't know how that works on Twitch and and on the old YouTubes and stuff like that. So I'm not going to worry about that. I would like this to go. This usually goes considerably faster, though. Uh, computer's pumping on all cylinders. I don't know. It's weird. Now, Wabbit, well, you've been using it in waveform mode, so um, I'm not sure what you mean with by that, but I use it just the way it is right now. I don't know if that's like a special mode or whatever. It's just the way that <laughs> you'll all hear it live, huh? Um, <coughs> yeah, this is the really the only way that I know how to use it. It's it's the way that it's most like, prem um, not Premiere, uh, well, it is most like Premiere, but it's also most like Final Cut Pro, which is what I started, well, that was my, my first major editing program, the first thing I really started messing with. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's it's what's comfortable. So this is what I do, I go through, and I'll, I mean, I'll show you the whole the whole process, you're going to hang around for it, which, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with, otherwise I wouldn't be streaming it. Oh, okay, gotcha. Not multi-track. Yeah, so I, I went to multi-track. The way that I record the show is that I actually have... <coughs> I actually have the... 
each my, my, my co host is on one Skype instance and then the guests are on another Skype instance so that I actually get two separate tracks. I get one from Kent and I get one from whoever else we have on the show. And of course it's got the usual Skype compression, but that Skype compression is it still gives me a cleaner track if I have them separate separated like that. Now you will notice, and this is gonna cause some complications here, of course. Oh, it looks like uh, track two is just a copy of track one. I guess that would make no, that shouldn't be the case. You see right here, I actually cut them down. Cut, uh, I'm going to guess this is Kent. Because. Dot TV slash Ritual Misery Podcast and follow us there. Yeah, this is a. Uh, I, I had to cut Kent down a little bit here because chat room said he was clipping, and as soon as I cut him down, I was like, "Ah, oh, what the hell did I do that for? That was stupid. That was a dumb move." So track two is actually my other mic. I don't need. This whole track right here can just be gone. So there's that. Uh, yeah, my... Uh, so I do take all the all the other sources separately and edit them together just to make I want the, I want the cleanest audio uh, audio I can I mean it, it's the whole fake until you make it thing right if, if I can't uh, if I can't get if I can't make millions of dollars on the podcast I'm at least going to pretend that I do I'm gonna sound like I do so I've got my recording set to one mic <coughs> Um, w well, I've tried double enders, and what re what happens is the either the guest or the co-host is always unreliable. So either Kent takes forever to give me the file, or his file is just crap, and I wish I'd recorded it myself. Or the guest, you know, we we end up getting their their audio. It's just you know what? It's just easier if I take control myself, and then if I have a problem, go back to the other ones instead of using the double ender as the as the 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 norm, and using my files as the norm and theirs as the backup. And I found that, that is the most reliable, especially at four o'clock in the morning, well, midnight my time when I'm starting a stream to to do all this and get it out of the way. It's just easier if I if I have control of all the files myself and I don't have to rely on anybody else. So um let's see if you're having a hard time hearing me now, I can turn mine. I can turn my gain up a little bit if that helps. Yeah, exactly, Webbit. Uh, I can control, to the best of what I can, I can control what I'm recording, what I have control of here, uh, and just re you know, lowering the rely reliance on, on other people. Um, yeah, and see, the problem is that, like, right now, if during the live show, if I have my volume up this high, then Kent and my guest will sit there and complain that I'm flooding them. So I got to, I, 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 what I need to do is just... I need to get on a three-way call one day with people that don't mind spending an hour while I troubleshoot audio. Because every time I ask Kent to do it, it's I might as well be pulling teeth. Okay, let's see here. Um... That's uh so W Scott is one there's um I I I'm not against anything as far as making it as well if it makes it easier I'm willing to try anything so if you f do find that link where you know whatever you were talking about to combine the tracks and sync them up whatever by all means uh, send it to me because I will try it out just to make sure make my life easier and as far as cutting my audio down in Skype I have not because it's a three way thing I I use a a, a double mix minus so 
the audio that I send to Kent doesn't include Kent's audio, and the audio I send to the guest doesn't include the guest's audio, but all the audio goes out through OBS and into Audition, and all the audio except for the Kent's voice goes to Kent. All the audio except for... It, it's a double mix minus using two uh, auxiliary channels on my mixer. So if I turn my settings down in Skype, it turns everything down going to that person, including the other guests. So it's actually like a three-way volume equalization thing that you have to do, and, and doing it live is really a pain in the ass. And it, it's something that has to get uh, finagled beforehand, and, and it's kind of one of those things that it works right now, so... I kind of just need to, I need to spend some time uh, doing it is what I need to do. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the start of the show here. I've got everything, the, the I've got everything balanced out to approximately 18 lefts. This one cut down a little bit more, but this one we don't need anyway. So it's pointless. And I can actually come up here and close that. And no, I don't need to save it because I'm not using it. Um, so there's these. Uh, is track four, did I use that at all? Am I? Track four was channel four in. Channel four in is actually. And no, I don't have all these labeled like I should because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, oh, uh, okay, uh, that's system sound. So I only used that for that one little bit right down there. So, okay, at least I used it. All right, so this is the beginning of the show. This is pretty much the sound check here. Then we'll come over here, and I'll try to find <laughs> a it, it, it Mike will show up if Mike shows up. Yeah, it, it would have been nice to have Mike TV and have Christy because that was kind of like the gimmick, but I, I, am, I am completely... Uh, satisfied with just, just, just uh yes um just Zencaster yeah, no, that's works for so audio awesome. but it doesn't work necessarily for video yeah, at least when I, I tried it because I was part of the show, beta you ready Christy and Wabbit yes I'm this fine. is the show with I'm Christy fine. right Good. am I hitting the button yeah I mean you know whenever you're ready to hit that button right over there this button right here this is this is the worst intro. I hate this intro. We didn't we didn't catch anything. Mike Nothing will caught. Show up if Mike shows up. Yeah, it, it would have been nice to have Mike TV and have Christy because that was kind of like the gimmick. But uh, I um I am completely uh, satisfied with just 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 having Christy. Like just yeah. Just, no, that's that's just awesome. Christy. Yeah, well, I'm thanks. down. Let's do a show. Man. You ready, Christy? I'm fine. I'm all set. Right. Good. Am I hitting the button? Yeah, I mean, you know, whenever you're ready to hit that button right over there. This button right here? Uh, nope, the other one. The other one? I don't I don't think that's the button though. <laughs> <laughs> I just like building the anticipation. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, whenever you're ready to hit that button. Am I hitting the button? Yeah, I mean, you know, whenever you're ready to hit that button right over there. This button right here? Uh, nope, the other one. The other one? I don't. I don't think that's the button, though. <laughs> so as I'm listening to this in my headphones, I'm I can fine. actually hear. Right. There's like a ticking. Am I hitting the button? Yeah, I mean, you know, whenever you're ready to hit that button right over there. This button right here. Nope, the other one. The other one? I don't. I don't think that's the button. I'm actually getting crappy sound into my headphones right now. Uh, all right, that's all that. Yeah, system sound input was... Uh, for whatever reason, I can't get a sound card that just gives me clear silence when I'm not using it. All right, so back to this. Um, let's try to find another spot Green up here. Like that. It's yes. like you're eating pie Green. while you're drinking the, the beer. Um, yeah. So this is definitely not not that. Um, but it's got a really good flavor. It's it's really chocolatey. It feels it, it, it yeah, it's, it's good. And unfortunately, it came out of a can, so the head didn't last very long. Okay, so there's there that's kind of. That kind of works, but I, I really want something better than that. <laughs> right. But it was, it was the end of the evening beer, so I have no idea what it tastes like. 
Move video is great. Audio garbage. Yeah, yeah I, I really, uh, I really appreciate the uh, the openness of the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Other, other than the fact that it was supposed to be a podcast, but I just basically stared at a screen for an hour. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. No, the video is great. Audio garbage. Yeah, yeah I, I really, uh, I really appreciate the uh, the openness of the conversation. <laughs> uh, the <laughs> <laughs> it's like I could just imagine the conversation going any direction I wanted it to go in, and that's where it went. It was amazing. It was on point. It was the most non-offensive content that I've ever experienced. <laughs> yeah, except for that. See, there we go. There we go. I like that one right there. I can cut that out. Let's go here. Let's go that right there. And that right there. And get rid of all of that. And then two, three. Come over here. Let me just delete this track. How do I delete this track? I can't remember how to delete tracks. I guess it really doesn't matter. I can just grab all of this and just bring it up one. There. <coughs> and then here's the actual uh, beginning of the show. So we'll go there and then I'll get rid of those and that one because I don't need them. Bring this all the way over here. And drag all of this to match up there. It was the most non-offensive content that I've ever experienced. Okay. Yep. That's good. That's that's funny. That's for whatever reason this po this pre-show it just didn't. I don't know. I didn't really care for it too much. Christy was great, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I was tired or something. It's it's weird when you're making a show and, and like you expect yourself to be on all the time and then you 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 aren't on for the beginning of it. It's, it's, it saddens you almost. Okay, so this comes here and matches up there. <coughs> and then... What I'll do to make sure I get a clean intro is I'll actually take this right here. What is this? This is going to be. I don't know what the hell that is. I uh, don't need it though. So we'll get rid of that all the way up until there. And clear my audio out until there. Ooh, well that's way too far. And Christy doesn't come in until here. And just to reduce signals, I'll actually Excellent. Ah, uh, it looks like everything's that. Oh, that wasn't even the beginning of the show. That was the the pre test. That was the little tester. Take a look at that. Let's go ahead and grab. Go ahead and grab all of this. Grab this one. Bring it up to here. Okay. 
let's try this. It was the most non-offensive content that I've ever experienced. Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 146 for Thursday. Okay, nice Today's the 19th start. of October, 20. Oh, what we have in store? I just know that Christy Cates is here. Ah! Hi, everybody. Yay. <laughs> Hi, Christy. Good to have you. Okay. Um, I, I can actually hear where he's clipping a little bit. And I think it's ah! because of the way his audio is set up. Hi, everybody. Yay. <laughs> hi, Christy. Good to have you. I, I Thanks, love guys. how we uh, we say hi to our guest after we've already been talking to her for like half an hour. <laughs> okay. Man, unfortunately, I've got all these damn extra tracks here. Seriously, how do we delete a track? I should probably know that. Um, and here I'm going to go ahead and add before I forget it. This is going to be my hard limiter, and I go with the true peak and make sure that's selected right there. And everybody is everything else on the default, and that is my hard limiter on my master track. I know it's kind of cheating to make sure that everything's just going to work out right, but it's what I do, so that's how it works. And I'm going to go through each one of these tracks, and I have a preset that I'm going to add to these. And I call it, appropriately enough, podcast. I know, I know. And it's uh, It amazes me, too, how easy it is to name things sometimes. And what you'll see there is, like, uh, this whole area right here of all this noise. It doesn't take out all the room. It doesn't take out all of the... It doesn't eliminate all the extra sound or anything else. It just takes that extra noise, the extra background shit, and just get rid of it. See, and nothing's coming through now. Yeah. But it's not yeah. so harsh that it sounds like I'm I'm cutting in halfway through my words. And that's actually... Um, th I, I find a lot of people will use presets and things and it just, it sounds like they are, it, it, they, they put their noise floor so high or, you know, or, or, or the limiter or whatever so high that when they talk, instead of actually coming through and gently coming into the word, it sounds like released a, a, a mute button. So when they talk, there's like this hard start to it and it, it just, it sounds so unnatural and so annoying. So I leave some of that 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 room in there. Plus, it's just easier edit out edit out when you're editing the hard stuff, but not the uh, not the overall. So there's that. There's there's uh, the file for me, and we'll go ahead and hit apply. And so audition is destructive. It modifies the actual files instead of just adding uh, a label to it or you know adding uh, metadata to it. That is why back here, the first thing I did was made a copy of the recorded files. So this is an untouched copy. I'm actually modifying these files here. These files are not being touched at all. And that is in case something does go wrong, I can go back to the original files before Audition had anything to do with it. And what I'll do is I'll go down to the next one and do the same thing. Actually, this is the... That's the iPad track, so I don't need to mess with that at all because I'll just leave that the way it is. This one here. This should just be the night attack. Rah, 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 rah. The bark. Is there an official name for that? I think it's just the bark. Oh. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this broker. <laughs> so there's that. And what I'll do is I'll end up, oh, instead of removing all this noise that's right here, I'll actually trim that file down towards just that little bit right there. And yeah, I could add it in post, and sometimes I have to do that because the sound just is corrupted, but if at all possible, I like to use what's there just as a matter of practice of using what's there and not, not getting in the habit of, of covering up shit um, when, you know... Uh, j just like in my photography, I like to use as much natural light as possible. I don't want to use artificial light if I don't have to. I'd rather that be the exception than the rule. And same thing with podcasting or doing audio. I would rather do have the replacement of a file segment or a sound segment or whatever else be the exception, not the rule. So that's why I do that. And that was way more complicated than it needed to be for me to explain that simple process. Here's Kent. 
Let's go dynamic processing on here and again go down to podcast. Yeah, W. Scott is one. Of, is, that's exactly what it is. It sounds like they mute themselves when, when they're not talking, but then when they do start talking, instead of having a gentle ramp up into what they're saying, it just it's this harsh start, and it it doesn't sound natural, especially if they have it at the beginning but not the end. It just it, it makes it sound completely over processed to me. It doesn't sound like natural um, natural speech, and it, because it's not, and it just it sucks. I don't like it, so I'm not going to do it. I used to do it be, before I learned learn better <laughs> okay so that one's done we'll come down here and we'll do this one as well and this is christy and you can see this is all noise that i get from from like all this right here this is all noise that i get from skype it's just this abhorrent noise it so sucks Uh, yeah, the so as far as audio goes, it is harder, I think, because you're so attuned to it, because it's something that's so easily to, it, for whatever reason, whenever you hear an audio, it, it, it captures more of your attention and you hear the nitpicky stuff more often, where with video, instead of hearing, you know, instead of seeing the, the, the granularity and this and that and everything else, there's so much to see that you're kind of concentrating on small areas at a time. And I don't think you quite... Uh, well, at least I don't think I quite get to see the whole picture for what it is as opposed to watching just specific elements. You know, if this person's talking, I'm looking over here. If this person's talking, I'm over, looking over there. Where the problem comes in is audio is much easier to splice than video. Video is very difficult to splice without people noticing, whereas audio, you can, in, unless there's a constant sound of noise that's going to cause a, a, a sharp uh, mark in the middle there, you can adjust it and it turns out you can bar you know, if you do it right, you can, can't even tell that it's done. So, all right. So at this point I've conditioned my files. I've found the beginning of it. I've lined it all up. This is uh this is typical. Then what I'm going to do is going to go find the end and you'll see, I don't do any edits in the middle. There are no, there's no such thing as, as editing stuff out in the middle because that's just that takes so much damn time and it's, it really doesn't add, at least for the kind of show that we have on Ritual Misery, it doesn't add too much to the show, so I just don't do it. Got thirty uh, thirty three seconds left of this music, so as it starts <laughs> to fade in, um, we want to thank you guys for listening, for being our patrons, and for checking us out. Uh, for me, for Kent, for Christy, and for everybody in chat room right now, this is your Ritual Misery podcast. <laughs> Okay, that sound. Sometimes I'll actually adjust this to make it to where it lines up with what I'm saying. Or if Kent gets cut off, I'll trim it down to where he doesn't get as cut off as he normally would. Or it depends on on how it flows. But that's typically what happens there. And sometimes I have to adjust the diamond club bumper to match it up a little bit better because I'm late with the trigger. Diamond club hopes you have enjoyed this broker. <laughs> and see, like that right there. It's 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 a little late. So what I'll do is I'll take, so that's where it begins. I'll grab this and just drag it down here because I don't really care about that part of it. Then I'll grab this and I'll just bring it in a little bit. And probably right about, right about here. Diamond Club. And maybe a little bit more. Right, right about there, right where it's... Diamond yep. Club hopes you have enjoyed this broker. <laughs> <laughs> and see, like that right there, I'll go ahead and leave Christy's little laugh in there too. <laughs> and that's perfect. Let's see what happens after, see if there's anything. Oh, that sounded cut <laughs> off. Like, it, well, it, it, would, it went live okay. I just didn't have the volume slider, so you guys didn't hear it. See, there in there, there's like a little quip right afterwards. I'll go ahead and probably leave that in there. Oh, got it, got it. <laughs> um, yeah, man, such a good show. Okay, yep. So then I'll cut it right over here. Cut it right after I, I tell everybody how I made an idiot of myself. 
And then we'll just delete all the rest of that. And that allows us to refocus. All these fucking all these all these all these tracks. This is this is so stupid. Um, <laughs> God damn it. I gotta I gotta set my presets again. And there's all that, and you and that's that's it. That's um, this episode is gonna be about a, an hour, or five minutes long. It's actually pretty good length. Um, I will check one more time to make sure that I don't have any craziness going on. Um, so that that flows in there. And this file here, like I said, I will actually take this and um, well, let's do. Do this and grab this and actually trim this all the way down to the very end because that's the only part of that file we need. And in fact, the way that it's oh, you son of a bitch. And of course, that just happened again. Of course, yeah, there we go. Yeah, and zoom up. Okay, and grab this and come all the way down here. And turns out I don't need that one at all because I cut that one off right over there to trim it in. So then I'll grab this and bring it here so it closes off. And I'll grab this one here and just match up with that. That sounds like a good spot. And because I don't want any errant sounds, I'll go ahead and bring that in here. And then zoom this out. And I'll grab this here and bring it down to about here. And this is just cutting out any extra extra noise that might be present in the track that I'm, I'm either not hearing or not catching. It's just a, a down and dirty way of getting rid of that crap so that I don't have to listen to the entire thing. But, um, you know, uh, yeah. As far as getting Skype call and test audio, I'd be more than, oh. Um, yeah, that's one of those things, like this, oh my gosh. So the, re the whole reason I'm doing this so late is because we, it got dropped on us this last week that we are going to be hosting the neighborhood Halloween party. And uh, I, I, I don't do anything without doing it the best that I can. So we have been spent, we spent this last week going through and finally unpacking the rest of the house and really actually moving in. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this, week, this weekend was just, a, was just blown out of, out of the water with that. So that's how all that worked. And now I'm, uh, I'm like already a day late because I like to have this out no later than Sunday. And it kind of pissed me off. So tonight we we worked on some other stuff and then I came in here to get this done and figured I'd share with you people. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and ex export this twice. I'm going to, oh, that's not, uh, that's not where I need to go with it. Uh, 146 is this actually? It is 146. So I'm going to export it once as an MP3 and I go uh, 44.1. I'd like to go... 48, but then there's some driver issues, so I just stick with 140 or with 44 one. And I've recently jumped up to 128 kilobits per second. Uh, I stay CVR just because the the standard quality and really MP3 files are so small with today's bandwidth that it, nobody really gives a damn. Although I am going to change. That's not what I need. I need to go up here. Uh, here, stupid. Go mono because I don't need uh, it's it's audio. It's it's people talking. So, um, th that is true. Uh, Jotman, this doing this stream will help us get uh, affiliated quicker, especially if I can get a couple more people to jump on. But uh, I mean, it really. So th here's the thing with the affiliation. I would love to be affiliated. I would love to be able to have another little minor stream of income and to have the couple perks other than that, that it comes with being affiliated and uh, things like that. But really, I just, this is actually something I've been planning on doing forever. Um, showing my process, because if my process is screwed up, then you know maybe people should know that. <laughs> and that, and, and uh, just, I don't know. I, I want to get on here and do more and uh, produce more content. If I'm going to, if I'm going to retire and do, do stuff like this, as uh, uh, more than just a, a passive hobby, I need to get used to it. I need to be able to do what I'm doing now. So I've gotten to MP3. I've, all my files are named as RM underscore podcast underscore episode 0146, and that's just me being anal retentive and a, a jerk to myself. Uh, 44100 because of the driver issue, like I said before, uh, 128 kilobits per second as an MP3. This will be the file that you actually get in your podcatcher. 
So make sure it's in the right folder. It is, and hit OK. And let that do what it does off in the ether. Yeah, if I had more time, I would definitely do more more random streams. I'd love to get back into into the division actually, <laughs> and uh, and make that happen. Uh, I was doing that for a while on my Ethan Kane channel, and well, it just I don't know. I lost time. I actually, I, I I traded in my division time for doing more podcasts. So I have thought about doing a a pot, uh, doing doing a stream for when I'm doing Odokta's uh, IQMZ Sports and showing my view of it and doing the the behind the scenes. And I I, I need to talk to Odokta about this if you if you would mind. I don't know if I'd be able to handle the bandwidth actually should be able to okay so now that's done i'm going to go check to make sure the file is there and it is it's right there mp3 file at 92 megs Ugh, it seems so big but again i really just i it's it's not that, not that big and then i will do the same thing again except this time i will export as an aif and I'll leave it named mixed down. That's fine. And hit that. And this is where this is where I overcomplicate my life for n absolutely no reason at all. Since shopping with Amos's balls. <laughs> Amos's balls is one of those those parts of the show that I really hoped would catch on, but it, I just I'm just not a very good salesman, to be honest with you. <laughs> so I, I I find it hard to to approach people if I don't have a reason to approach them, and that's what Amos's balls was supposed to be is give me a region like, hey, our fans have requested that you be on the show, you know, kind of break that ice. But I've gotten so little feedback the the. The few responses I've gotten have, have typically just been dropped after the second or third correspondence, and it's like, damn, I really, I really need to learn from Brian Brushwood how to sell this shit because I'm just not good at it at all. Okay, so there's, there's audition. Um, it's been kind of too late now. Oh, uh, yeah. See, that's so annoying. So absolutely annoying. Um, okay, so that's audition, and that is that's I'm done with audition. Like I'm closing it out right now, and that is going to be gone. And I'll, or yes to all. Um, I'm done with it. Like that's that's all there is to it. The audio portion is done. Um. <coughs> uh, Sorry about the coffin. I've been trying to mute myself. Okay, there we go. So there's that. Um, and now we are going to open Premiere and start the less fun part of the part of this. we go. Uh, skip that. I don't, well, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, bring it over here and new. That's not what I want at all. We're going to go data drive podcast virtual major 146. Like a folder, folder here, and of course, rm underscore podcast, and uh, you know, I could I could go into why I name it rm underscore podcast, and that's basically because I rm for virtual misery, of course, and then podcast was uh, I was gonna originally have different categories that is you know rm interview, rm podcast, rm whatever, and it just 
it stuck with this, and I just haven't changed it because I just didn't want to. I just never, never bothered. Okay, there's that. And now we are going to drag a whole bunch of stuff into here. First, we're going to drag this, because that's the actual video file after it's been remuxed. And then we're going to go here and graphics and logos. We're going to start with this. And this, this, this. And I think that's all we're going to start off with today, because I don't think we'll need anything more than that. Hold on to that. Drag this up to here, find our beginning point. So there's that, and there's no painting. Oh, edit preferences, audio. What audio is it going out to here? Oh, no, it needs to go to ASI only. See, now if I go to 4,800 here or 48,000 here, it change, It won't, Skype won't recognize the, the, the mixer, and that's so stupid. I fucking hate Skype. So we'll go there. There we go. Now I can hear it. supposed to be a podcast that I just basically stared at a screen for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, the video is great. Audio garbage. Yeah, yeah, I, I really, uh, okay, well, Scott is, W. Scott is one. Uh, if you can tell me how to do that really quickly, I will actually make that happen right now because two of the people that I would do it for anyway are the people currently watching. So let's uh, let's get into this because which irritates me with the different dashboards and the 43 different command screens and and everything else. All right, I'm on here now. I know I'm dumb. Sorry, I'm I'm putting you on the spot like let's let's make this happen. <laughs> Another way for you to for you to reply to me. Uh it's, it's editor. Mm -hmm. Nope, that didn't do anything. Twitch front page is always showing some crap that I don't care about. Well, how about you say you're the only viewer, but then I got... Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Get to your dashboard, click editing. Mm, stupid dashboard. Dashboard irritates me as it is. Right, and I like how it says get to editing. So this is what I'm looking at. And so it says I got three viewers. That's cool. Um, I don't see edit editing anywhere. What am I missing here? God, I hate this dashboard. Come 
submissions, maybe? Oh, there's editors right there. So you got to go into permissions and then go to editors. Okay, well, let's... Look at that. There's uh, there's there, and there's. Oh, that that didn't type. Boom! Look at that. Done. And that's uh that's your quick uh, Amos guide to figuring out uh, Twitch on the fly. <laughs> Well, now that I know how to do that, I'll, I'll spend some more time and figure out exactly what I should be doing with that. <laughs> oh, God. I hate all these new platforms and shit. It irritates the piss out of me. Uh, I really appreciate the, uh, the openness of the conversation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can just imagine the conversation going any direction. Okay, so there's, there's that. And what we will do is I'll actually trim it right there. And then we'll find the end of the show. It should be about an hour and hour and five minutes later so you go nine it's about 114 about the 114 mark is when it should cut out or not Collision of worlds, <laughs> and like this, this full like I'm so happy to be part of this community of, of amazing people. Um, yeah, like this is so cool. That just makes experience spoiling time the uh, the update of the world on the Christian Cruise. My most recent project. Joking, uh, uh, my Google Shoe was uh, failed me. And for everybody in the chat room right now, this is your Rich Women's Group podcast. There we go. There's the end of it. Get the little dance in there. Get the breakage. Oh, that's trying to cut <laughs> off. It, it, well, it, it, would, it went live. Okay, I just didn't have a blind slider like you guys didn't hear it. Okay, that should be the end of it. So we'll go there. Um, oh, I forgot to drag it over here first because you got to set it. That's the cheater way of setting uh, setting it up to go with set setting your your editing area or your work area with what the video actually is like the the rate and all that other stuff that's the cheater way of doing it okay so now i'm done with this window i don't need this anymore i can i can condense down because i'm done with it and we are going oh i forgot to grab the aif so let's go back and back okay and we're here let's grab this mix down file let's drag that and bring that over there okay Ah, oh, see, now that's beautiful. That's how that's supposed to work, right? That's that's uh, real life brought to you by W. Scottis One. Is that what that is? That's what it seems like to me. Now we got to go, and, and I'm going to find where. This is going to go back down here somewhere. Why is this video version so crappy this week? I don't understand. Screen right. Oh, man, you got to do this on screen right. We're still talking about the beer, still talking about the beer. Let's 
mute this. Okay, so right in here is where the actual episode starts. Hello. There's the hello. So go here and go here and find that same spot. Gates is here! Okay. You can hear how much quiet it is. It's kind of ridiculous. That should be right about there. Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 146 for Thursday, the 19th of October, 2017. This That's actually not bad. Okay, it is just a hair off, so we'll move it. Oh, and come up here and show time units. That's so much easier because showing time units up here. Um, I'm trying to point with my finger. Uh, showing time units up here on the timeline will actually allow you to instead of moving the audio one frame by frame by frame, where or where Premiere randomly assigns the frames to the audio file, it allows you to move it more freely. You can't move the video except frame by frame, of course, but you can move the audio a little bit more freely when you do it that way. I'm trying to make this uh, this stream worth your while by giving you some of the some of the tips and hints that I've learned over the few years I've been doing this. Okay, so there's a good marker right there because it's a nice strong hit. So we'll put our thing right there. And we'll come in. And there's a dip right here which should coincide with this dip right here. So what I'll do is I'll grab it and drag it over here and then grab it and drag it and line it right up right there. I'm actually not even talking to the mic and then see if I can get that to line up right there, which I cannot. So then kind of just got to play with it too far. Not quite far enough. 134, we'll go 147, nope. We'll go 160. Nope. How about 166? It's not bad. Let's try. Let's try the next increment up from that though. So 172. So let's go back here to 172. And then that's pretty. That's pretty got him close right there. Pretty close. Um, I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't, because the, because we're not a video podcast first, we're an audio podcast. Once I have the audio done, I'm kind of, I'm kind of ready to go, but I do try to t try to line it up here kind of the best I can. But then as you'll see, uh, the next step of this, which is, so all of this, all of this video right here is completely just trash because it's all going to be covered up by other stuff. Um, you'll see that once I get down here, like the things will not line up right. So I'll find me a hard stop like this right here. This is this looks like a pretty good hard stop right in here. And I'll focus in on it. It actually looks like it's lined up pretty pretty good. Even towards the end here, it's lined up pretty good. Of course, not the very end because of the way that I the way that I cut it. Um That is that's kind of odd because it shouldn't have cut that hard. So Okay. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed. And there's that. So I'll need to or not not R, it's X, isn't it? Or C? C. 
Let me see this right here. And actually what I'll do is I will take, this is one point where I will, so this is where that part of it starts. It's right in there. So I'll go ahead and take this and cut this. And um, just go ahead and drop all of that. <coughs> Actually, let me undrop that. I'll cut it to right, right here. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and drop it, just like I said. Um, Joanne, yeah, I do have a snapping, uh, enabled only it, it, for whatever reason, I just, it, I use snapping more often than I want to use without it. So it's just not like if I knew the hotkey, I would just enable it and disable it. Uh, assuming that I could remember the hotkey, but I, I don't because I'm lame. I guess I could find out real quick and see if we can actually, that's what snapping is right, right? No, there's snapping. Uh, whatever. And then we'll go here and graphics and logos. And there's the video. Videos. Uh, yeah, that's it right there. So grab that and drag that down there. Um, and that's just the audio. I don't need the audio. I need the video. Do I not have the video? It does not look like I have the video. Ah, that's a pain in the ass. The video is on a hard drive that is no longer connected to my network because of reasons. Namely, my old router shat out on me, and the new routers don't have the USB inputs for it, so. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> there, that's good enough. And we'll grab this. Drag it into right there. Oh, that sounded cut <laughs> off. Wait, that well, it, it, would, it went live. Okay, I just didn't have the volume slider up, so you guys didn't hear it. Okay, there we go. So that's good. And then for that little section right there, I can actually go here and grab this and drag that down in here. And that should match up fairly well with it. Put that right there. And... I'm not using the time adjustment tool. Be so much easier. Is it the rate stretch tool? Is that what I'm supposed to be using here? Just pull that down right there and let it speed itself up. Oh, that sounded cut <laughs> off. <laughs> Wait, well, it, it, would, it went live okay. I just didn't have the volume slider up, so you guys didn't hear it. Oh, yep, it is perfect. Okay, cool. So there's all that. And then, of course, once I have all that done, I go in here unlink these because now I've, repl I've effectively replaced the audio select the audio delete it grab this pull it up and i don't i don't know why i pull it up it's, it's habit i guess and then let's go and zoom out so we can actually see the entire project here and then we'll grab the whole thing and we'll drag it all the way to the front and then we'll watch a couple of seconds here oh, i need to unmute it pure black sky and just this ribbon of green, it was, it was, and how do you record that for later usage? So it's, it's a little off, but again, uh, I'm not trying to be a perfectionist with the video because you can go literally insane if you're trying to be perfect with syncing the audio and video up, uh, especially when you have rate differences and everything else. So, so there's that. And then I will go and hit the old save on that project and then export it. And this popped over to the other window, so I'll bring it here. And of course, I will make sure it's in the right folder. 
I'm underscore podcast underscore zero one four six. And it goes right in there. And I'll go to medium bitrate. I used to mess with all kinds of different settings and this and that and blah, 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 blah. Man, it just it doesn't matter that much to me. I don't know that it matters that much to anybody. It would certainly not to me. Oh, and I do rename this instead of just the 146. I'll actually put a U YT at the end of it and designate that that's a YouTube file. And then I'll hit the old Q button. And I scored it as stereo. That's going to come out. Oh, whatever. It's fine. And it pops up in. Let's get this over here where you can see it. Pops up in encoder. <laughs> Don't call Gatto Wagon saying, hey, you know what? He's He makes a living doing the things that he does, though. Then that's the big difference is. I'm a hobbyist with a Patreon that helps offset some of the costs of what I do. He's actually a paid professional doing the things that he does. So he can be as specific as he wants because he's actually making money off the product he's putting out there. I am not uh, not one to criticize a man by the means in which he makes a living. It's so much so as it doesn't hurt, harm anybody and it's at least mostly legal. Okay, so now we are sitting here with this. Um, yeah, we can, we can fix those, uh, the we Scottish one. Um, I should just, can I just call you Willie? Like your name is as bur burdensome as mine. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I, yeah, I would love to, to, to fix those. I, I got rid of, well, I, I disabled them all. If, if you couldn't tell, I went in and just dis disabled them all. So they weren't, uh, being jerks anymore. Um, let me, uh, let me go ahead and start this. So that's, that's all set up and this, the CUDA, uh, whether it's software only, or if I do the CUDA, it doesn't, I'm not actually doing any hardcore graphics on this and I'm not doing any major compiling. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Let's close that out because I did not do something very ridiculously important to the way that I present the show. I almost screwed that up. Holy crap. Okay, let's uh let's get this going here. Open that back up and let it find all the media files. There we go. What I didn't do, so I covered the end. You go through the end over here, and it goes through the show, it goes through the ending, blah 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 blah. Very cool, very cool. I didn't fix the beginning, which is a complete noob move. Because the beginning is is the most important part. The beginning is where, where you either catch on or you don't catch on to the people. It was the most non-offensive content that I've ever experienced. Okay. See, that doesn't make any sense at all because the way that it's on there. Okay, so I go here. That's fully faded in right there. So then we will mark that and zoom out to where we can see all of the beginning. And I've got about eight and a half seconds to fill up and of course we start off with our title screen so title screen goes there um diamond club logo goes immediately following that and these are all five seconds each and actually when does this fade okay so that goes to the show there so i have to be there by then so we're going to reduce this down to Well, let's leave this one at about three seconds to get that nice firm start on it. Then we'll take this one and reduce it to the same amount and drop it right there. And then we'll take this one, which is the RMP logo, and we'll reduce it to the same amount. And then we'll take it and put it right there. And then we will take the productions one, which is, you know, me. And actually, we don't need to match that up there at all because it's going to go right here and get matched up to fill in that little gap. And it's going to drop right there. So there we go. Now, the three main things get all equal time. And then, of course, set to frame size. So they all fit. And then take all three, all four of those and drop them down on top of there. And then go through here and Control-D to give the default 
the default crossfade we'll go through here crosses over crosses there almost immediately fades back into that and then goes into the show and one thing that i've noticed is when you do that you have to come all the way back over here to make sure it didn't add a second crossfade to the end where you have it faded and it did not so muy bueno very good There we go. Now we go back through and, and do the export again. All right. And exactly the same thing as before. Medium. We'll rename this. Zero one four six. YouTube. Hit save, all that stays the same, and then we'll hit Q. And once Media Exporter, uh, uh, Media Encoder comes up, we will then flip it back over. So here's the here's the first one, and this is the one we are not going to keep. So we'll remove. Shoots, remove that one. And just to make sure, we'll go ahead and remove both of them because screw it. There's that and that, and then we'll go back through the export file. Export media. <laughs> Night Wabbit. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for uh, chatting with us. And yes, we'll save all those changes. Okay, um, software only, and we'll go ahead and hit play on this. Hit let it start to start the encoding. Well, it does that. Okay. Um, this is where I will go and I'll grab right here and this media file right here. I'm going to go ahead and queue this up because that's the next step. Right, um, whoa, didn't want all that showing up. All right, let's, uh, we don't need that to autoplay. Mm, oh, that's actually, we don't need to go here, do we? We need to go to uh, Nightbot. There we go. Um, and timers. So here's what I have set up, uh, Willie. See, it says every 30 minutes, but it actually happens like five times a minute or something stupid. It's kind of ridiculous. And then the Prime, we don't even need to enable that yet because we are not affiliated, so we're not going to get anything from that. The Patreon reminder, every 25 minutes. And it, what I basically want to do is it not to be on the same time, so we're not getting smacked by stuff all the time. And then uh, 
the host one every 42 minutes because 42, right? Oh, sure. Now you switch devices. I see how it is. Greg is over here real quick. Okay, go back to Windows Commands. All right. Um Yeah, I really have no idea how much of a delay we're on with the uh, Twitch chat. Okay, let's see here. I I do have the beta feature on, but I again I don't know. So um I guess I could probably just type myself. One oh, it showed up right away over here. The seven second delay. That's not too bad, I guess. Okay. Um, everywhere it has a command in the message, move it to the alias. So there's no command there command is down here in alias. So move that from there. So it's, uh, uh, I don't even know. So move this uh, don't be selfish here with the train rack down to here. Because I thought the alias was just what it what it would call, what command it would call, and th so it should post this and then post that, right?
Okay, done. And then submit. Oh, message is required. Hmm. If I just put a space in there, it works. Nope, still needs to do something there. <coughs> Excuse me. So if I put just put a period in there and hit submit. <laughs> well, Willie, I, I, I don't, I don't know why it's there either. <laughs> yeah, I really, really don't know why, don't know why any of it. I, this is. <laughs> it, it'd be nice if it was just like plain English, you know, like hey, uh, type some stuff in. I'm not sure. It's to someone, it is. Uh, here's a Patreon reminder. So this this right here should wait wait that's not what I wanted. To so this should go down here. Don't you? Move this over here so it's a little easier to read. That's that's not what I wanted. There we go. And then control X and then here I'm control wait, control V and then just throw the Throw the old period in there and hit submit. Let's, let's, let's go. It's got to be at least like 30 lines or whatever. That, that, that works. I don't try to spam people's stuff. Just a gentle reminder for the new folks. That's all it needs to be. That's all it's supposed to be. There. Okay, and then I'll uh, try enabling these three. We can go ahead and edit this one while we're here, right? Even, even though it's not effective until we get uh until we get affiliated. If <laughs> if we get affiliated. Yep. And just this out to thirty. Should be all submit. There. Yeah, yeah. So it, if, if when we get affiliated, I'll I'll go ahead and enable that one. Uh, Joe Mon, if you're trying to trying to spam yourself out, man, you're gonna have a little, have a time at it. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so that, that's all that, and then uh, the commands, right? Uh, the default ones are built in. I don't uh, blah 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 blah. They're all enabled. I've got all of them enabled because why not? And then the custom ones. Um, there's hosts. There's Patreon. There's Prime. Uh, there's the tweet. There's Showbot. Oh yeah, these are all fancy now. Okay, uh, let's go timers and let's change uh, the Twitter room. Uh, let's go this here to every, oh, five minutes is short as I can go. Oh, uh, yeah, um, yeah, let's do that uh, show about timer. Let's see, what, what do we need to do for that? Cause custom showbot. Submit title, okay, so it's just uh, just that right there. 
control C. And then go here to timers, add name, showbot, toss a period in there. Every 15 minutes sounds good. I don't care how many, how few lines there are. And then hit the all showbot submit. So there's that one. There's a showbot one now. Uh, Joe Mon, is that how it works? It's five minutes or 30 lines, whichever happens first. I think it's whichever happens. Oh, I don't know. Well, just go. <laughs> hey, um, a whole bunch of people are, are, uh, are watching right now, and I really appreciate that. We're just trying to figure out some Twitch while I edit a podcast and publish it out. So um, thank you guys very much for, for checking us out, even though it's uh, probably four in the morning. There's nothing else to watch where you're at. So good times. <laughs> Uh, you you have fun with that, Joe Juan. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and pr pr proceed on getting this uh, podcast published because it is getting a little late. Okay, so there's all that. Uh, this is the point. So that's th I'm gonna go ahead and bring it over here. You already know what that looks like. Um, and I'm going to go to bring up show notes. So this can come over here. And show notes right here. So there's that. And then in another window, I will bring up Ritual Misery itself. Bring that over here. And all posts. All right. Oh, it always acts funny when you do it that way. And we need to go add new, and we'll go down here. Okay, and then we paste that in there like this. Make sure you hit Ritual Misery over here. And then there's that. We can close that out now. Oh, uh, so there's, see, I guess we'll see if that happens again in five minutes. Uh, you know, T222 can spaz out about me being me using WordPress uh, right up until the point where he provides me a CMS that is better for the same price. That's that's how I feel about that because WordPress is exactly free, um, and it and it works. It it it's it works exactly the way it needs to work. But yeah, he does not like WordPress at all. At all, at all. Um, and the title for this one, where's the title? The title is Emo Amos. Ah, oh, that's right, because I didn't like this title at all. This is one where I just kind of bit the bullet and said, okay, fine. That's the one 46. And this is with... So the reason I put the with at Christy Cates over here is because right down here where it will automatically uh, post to Twitter, it'll actually tag her in it so that it makes it a lot easier for her to to repost and things like that. It just, it's just one of those little courtesies for our guest to make it as easy as possible for them to share it because, well, they're hooking us up. They're doing us a favor by sharing it am amongst the, the social media, we might as well make it as easy as possible for them. Oh, and that doesn't need to be 145, that needs to be 146, because that makes a lot more sense. There we go.
Um, honestly, if I had the the means and um, I was willing to spend the money, I would actually do a self hosting thing with uh, as well with WordPress on there because it's just so easy. It's just so easy. I need to move this up here so I can pay attention to that screen some more. Um, okay, so it's uh that's that's not it. That's where's hmm. Oh, there we go. Um Twitter reminder edit. Let's go back to I think it was at the thirty minute mark. Oh, well, twenty minutes sounds good. Let's do that way. Okay, so that's all done. Close that. <coughs> well, I probably shouldn't have closed that. Willie, is there something else I need to fix? Because <laughs> now might be the time. Uh, <laughs> uh, th this is either uh, how to publish a p podcast or how to Twitch. I'm not sure which one. Probably a mixture of, the, of both of them. Okay, and now uh, usually I will I would listen to the episode on super fast forward. I don't know. Twitch, Twitch Prime, turn that on. Uh, well, the the so I don't want to advertise to people that Twitch Prime can help us out because technically they can't they can't subscribe to us until we're affiliated. So once we're affiliated, once we get an, our affiliate, then we can do that. Wow, we stopped. Uh, we stopped doing Nightbot, and everybody left. <laughs> You're like, screw this guy. We're out of here. Um. Okay. So. Misery Podcast, episode 146 for Thursday, the and 19th of October, 2017. Yes, I listen to my own podcast at one and a half speed, so that's how that works. This is our guest celebrate all things geek, and have we got something in store? Uh, I don't know what we have in store. I just know that Christy Cates is here! Ah! Ah! Hey, hey. <laughs> Hi, Christy. Good to have you. I, I hey, love guys. how we, uh, we say hi to our guest after we've already been talking to her for like half an hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, but the audio listeners don't know that. Yeah, it's this weird, uh, this weird pseudo relationship we have before the show. Then we have this other relationship during the show. Then after the show, it's like, oh, everything's back to normal again. We can just share the shit and be be normal. Yeah, well, well, that's why yeah. our, our audio only listeners should go to twitch.tv slash Rachel Misery Podcast and follow us there, and then they will know when we are live, and then they can they can get all the pre-show yeah. goodness and all yeah. that, or just watch the the shows that have already happened for the first couple of days. Yeah, there yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Anyway, so yeah, here we are. We have Christy Cates, a uh, a, a Twitch musician a member of Diamond Club, somebody that uh, we hold in very high esteem. Christy, how are you tonight? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? I haven't seen you in, in a bit, I think. It's been a while since I was on the show last time, so I'm glad to be back. Nice. Well, well I mean, you yeah. know, you, if you weren't so damn busy and on the East Coast <laughs> and stuff, you know. Like, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's gotten too popular for us, Amos. I know, I know. She's, she's, oh, jeez. She's, she's on the show, then all of a sudden she's bigger than our show, then like, it, we can't even get her on. She's like, she won't oh. answer the Twitch messages or the tweets or anything <laughs> else. And she's like, she, her secretary's like answering back to us and stuff and like telling us we should drink tea. Yeah. Um, I, it's really weird. It's, a, it's, it's an awkward relationship, but you know, we, we, we cherish it anyway. <laughs> I have a secretary. When did I get that? Are you paying him or her? Because I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, a hacker into your email account secretary. Is it really different? Is it, is it, it's kind of the same, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, same whatever. difference. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So you, uh, you've, got, you've got some new stuff coming out that you've, uh, that you've done. I'm not going to be like a current geek and make you wait until the very end of the show to talk about your stuff. What have you been okay. up to? Like, what's your new stuff? Um, well, let's see. Um, we kind of closed down Monday Music News. Um, I want to bring it back in a new incarnation, but I just haven't, as you just mentioned, I haven't quite had time to do that yet because the new show that I'd like to do is a bit more complicated. So. Okay. So this is done, which... I'm glad that happened. <coughs> we can close this out now, and we can open Handbrake. Why Handbrake, you ask? Well, because it's a lot faster, and the preset really, really works really well for what I need it for. So we're going to take that, and we're going to go with the Fast 480. Web Optimized. And we're going to browse, and it's going to go 
here, except this time we're going to take off, you guessed it, the YT at the end of it. And that will save it. Actually, I need it to go. That's almost the wrong folder. Here. 46, there we go. And this would be the file that actually gets uploaded. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm ripping my own podcast illegally. That's what I do. Uh, I'm, I'm a rebel. Um, let me go ahead and hit start on that. Let that do its thing. <laughs> Alaska, Alaska only has one road. Well, Alaska still only has one road because we talked about it again. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of all of this. And did we do a TED Talk this week? I don't think we did. We did not. So we don't need the TED Talk segment. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, we don't need any of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, actually, we do need the streamathon. So we do not need this. Okay. And of course, change this to Christy. All the places and oh, that's uh, edits. Here's the kids, and we don't need any of this. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There, and we go here and we go. Make sure that's for the right page. It is. I always open it in a new tab because I want them to stay on my page so it opens it in a new tab so they do not have to leave my page to go see the stuff. And it was actually not Fitz, it was Squid. In this episode, we got the Jotmon thing there. Next week is going to be... Next week... Surprise! It's actually going to be the Have a Drink guys and gal. Maybe. They said they were going to, but we uh, haven't gone through the normal confirmation step yet. So, All right. Um, and now we go through and we do the quick listen to make sure I get the show notes right down in oh, the right order. That's probably what happened until after the new year. Um, in the meantime, though, I launched a Twitch channel in May to do my music. And that's been an awesome experience so far. Um, we just got affiliate last month. We launched a Patreon last month on the same <laughs> day that we did the affiliate party, and we did that all at once. It was really fun, and yeah, yeah we're building awesome. an audience, we're building a community. Thank really you. Great. It's really cool. It's a cool thing to do. So I'm playing original music and some cover songs, and just kind of, you know, just working on it, just building an audience, meeting people, getting my own music out there. I want to record eventually, so that's what the Patreon is for to kind of like help that move along. And anything people contribute on Twitch goes to that as well. So I'd like to put an EP out hopefully next year sometime. No. So that's kind of that's kind of the plan. I'm not going to yeah. try to take all your thunder or anything, but we, you know. We, we do. We do. We, we we're, we're going to attribute ourselves a little bit of credit for getting you to, to come out of your shell a little <laughs> bit and do some, some music on the old interweb. Um, not 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 that uh, not that. that you well, know. you know, Amos, that plays into something that we were we were going to talk a little more at length at the end of the show. But we do have here in a couple of months coming up the New Year's Eve streamathon, mm. which mm -hmm. unless yeah. I am unless I am wrong, this was Christy Kate's Diamond Club debut as a streaming musician. Yeah, it was. I don't think I've seen yeah. this before. That yeah, you're correct. It was awesome. Yeah, that was really it was, fun. It was fantastic. It was like it was so great. Your stream was one of the most talked about after the fact, uh, oh. one of the most popular uh, live streams during the whole streamathon. It was fantastic. Oh. Um, I, I understand that you are going to be on this year's streamathon as well. Yes, and I believe I am. I cannot <laughs> wait. It's going to be awesome. So, so, so the, the artist uh, formerly known as formerly known as Christy and <laughs> the guy who's actually scheduling all the people for the thing are now just now agreeing that she's probably going to be. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Willie, go ahead and yeah, make that happen. Uh, I, 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 I trust the people that I have selected for the mod and such. So if there's a way to make things easier or make them better, 
by all means, uh, go make do. <clears throat> I trust you guys know a lot more about it than I do, so. <laughs> I was, kind of, I was oh, having trouble reading. The, like it was he bad. just likes to snort asbestos. Yeah, it's, so. I, I do lines, man. It just it doesn't happen. Like, like it, it seems like it happens all the time. But what happens is when I get sick, I'm like done, like sick, sick. So, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, I live in a desert. It doesn't rain often in the desert, but when it does, like, God. um, I'm gonna take this, op this opportunity to explain the weather in Alaska. <laughs> um, snow. We did I just fin we did finally get some snow the last couple days. No, not here where I live, but in some of the areas around me. Um. This morning, there were no clouds in the sky. It was beautiful. It was amazing. And the aurora were going just like this big ribbon right across the sky. Like the pictures that you want to see that never actually happens, like it's always a trick, to trick of photography, right? Because you leave your shutter open for like a long time to make it look really bright. You didn't have to leave your shutter open. It was just really bright this morning. It was gorgeous. As I was getting ready, as I was heading to work at like 6 o'clock in the morning, pure black sky and just this ribbon of green. It was, it was like everything that you wanted to see when you see the aurora. That's what was going on this morning. Um, of course, it was an unscheduled uh, aurora storm, so I didn't have an opportunity. Like my little app and stuff didn't know it was going to happen. The other night, we decided, uh, well, I decided, hey, the aurora out, but it's kind of cloudy, so I'm going to go drive up the mountain and get some good pictures. And, of course, I crossed the, the, the threshold of frost, and the roads were slick as hell, almost fell off a cliff. I uh, got some decent oh pictures, but then got home and found out that all of them were out of focus. So oh no. that's uh, just one of, the, one of the things that you learn about doing some aurora pictures. Um, and we're supposed to get snow this weekend, and the river, when I came home this afternoon, the river was frozen over, doing its little semi-glacier thing. Oh, my God, this is my favorite time of the year in Alaska. It's so awesome. <laughs> it's just warm enough to be warm, but it's just cold enough for the, like, the environment to start getting cold. Oh, love it. Love it. Uh, anything with cold in the sentence, I'm nope. I'm already against. I was it. gonna say I'm like I'm so not a winter person. Like I can appreciate it right around Christmas is nice. Mm. New Year's is good, and then I can go away after that. So, so like yeah. from December 22nd to January 3rd is the only time you want it to be cold. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm with her. That's uh, that's no kidding. Yeah, Chris, Chrissy, you're in the Northeast, right? Yeah, just north of New York. Yeah, so yeah, so you get so you get probably like four to five months of like really cold weather. I don't. You know what's funny about that is like I winter either. So I don't know. I mean, yeah, I, I, time. they're like, no, we stayed 100% of the time that all that time, even without, without an elevator. We, they were toting gas up the well, stairs. It's, it's taxis, like hardly any public, like private cars, just like taxis everywhere. And oh, I remember getting stuck um, on the train trying to go back home and getting stuck right out by the airport and just nothing moved for like six hours. So mm -hmm. everyone's just like, stuff. It looks beautiful, but I was going to say, I bet it's gorgeous. And that's another thing, man. I, can't, I cannot take pictures fast enough of these mountains and everything else surrounding us. Like it's just, my phone's getting full, my camera's full. <laughs> so, so my, my uh, Apple TV, my new Apple TV finally arrived yesterday. Uh, it went on quite a journey. I ordered this thing like a month ago. And it took forever to get from China to Hong Kong mm. to the aforementioned Anchorage, Alaska, mm -hmm. to Louisville, Kentucky, mm -hmm. to Albuquerque, mm -hmm. and then finally to my town in wow. southern New Mexico. And, yeah, like, man, it took forever. But I finally got it. I'm so happy to have it. Like, the, the new Apple TV is so freaking cool. Now, I have to caveat, the last version of the Apple TV I never had. Uh, mm. I, my, my old Apple TV was, like, three, maybe even four uh, generations ago like it's super old well so they're only on so the fifth generation so i'll let you judge from that <laughs> okay so I, I think mine was uh, mine was either second or third gen okay uh but you know so it was before you were able to download uh, apps and all that kind of Apple stuff tv like on amazon why am i even and looking mm -hmm. and uh man this is such an upgrade I, like, yeah. i'm still playing with it and just like oh this is so cool like i'll sit here for like 30 minutes just playing with it and just <laughs> learning things about it like it's so cool i'm so happy to have a video <laughs> for <laughs> i was going to play at twitchcon so i have actually spent the past several days uh, I recorded my part for it. It's a surprise song for everybody at TwitchCon. And then I kind of helped with some of the, not a ton of it, but just kind of helped contribute to some of the editing. And I did a voiceover for the, the beginning introduction into the video, um, which is going to play at TwitchCon this weekend on like the big screen uh, at the stage. And is it's this, all, really is cool this all breaking news? Like you're telling us now uh, because you know nobody <laughs> watches. So the three people that are watching are going to be like, oh, they're, they're not going to say anything. Nobody else is going to listen to this until Monday. Well, so. no, they were, they were actually editing the video on a Twitch stream. So I mean, people that, that knew that this was happening could go watch it, but you know. Fair enough. So, okay. You guys are so self-deprecating. My gosh. <laughs> no, that's pretty awesome though. Like, yeah. not only did you raise, raise a lot of money for charity, but also like to have this. You know, you, you reached a goal, but also like putting together this whole video thing for TwitchCon. Like, that's oh my gosh. Like, we well, got yeah, somebody really awesome on our show. The guy editing show. it um, is a Twitch streamer. Um, his name is Ryan. His his handle is Lieutenant Chicken. And he, we watched him editing the thing, and he literally, I don't think quite everyone participated, so it was probably like maybe 15 or 16 musicians. And he took the song. Now, mind you, it's like a three or four minute song. Broke it up into chunks. Everyone performed the song all the way through. He took everyone's performances. So we had 16 videos, <laughs> full videos, and then I had to break it up into chunks and get people to like sing with each other and different parts to coordinate together even though everyone did it separately <laughs> several weeks as well so <laughs> you're used to it um have you guys uh, ready for that yet uh you crunchy, doing... crunchy sent us one and i haven't looked into it uh, as much as i want to but it looks promising and uh i think we are uh, this weekend i want to firm that up i went to do it yes. last weekend but being sick kind of kind of killed that for me so um, yeah there's a there's a lot of a lot of stuff to come on on that this weekend and that's yeah. gonna be one of them hopefully we get the charity firm this weekend so that we can announce it uh, live on the show next week so um, but yeah, it, again, it's it's. Our I've also met some really, really great people. Uh, some of the I've, met some, I've met a bunch of awesome people from Twitter. Yeah, some, some, some of the funniest assholes I've ever Spanish met. Spanish and yeah. were so helpful and friendly and yeah, so it was a very welcoming yeah. place. Some of the funniest assholes I've ever met were from Puerto Rico. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I'm giving you. That's no kidding. Like even if we uh, even if we don't choose one for the streamathon that's that's helping Puerto Rico, I definitely encourage everyone to
stuff in me. So um, since I can't comment on that directly, I'm going to go to my geeky thing of the week. <laughs> <laughs> hey, real quick, before we move on from charities, uh, Squid suggested the Derek Zoolander School for Kids That Don't Read Good. <laughs> Uh, we, I think we started that one originally, and they denied us because they couldn't read our, our, our petition form. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ken, um, do you know what this is? Um, is, is that your... As a, as a, as a teenager. Um, yeah, I think, you, I think you swung between being actually depressed and pretending to be depressed. Than people around me. I, I was the Debbie Downer in my group for major... Willing to give a song that you wrote, would you be willing to give that... To actually, it's something I hadn't even considered. Seriously, but we like to once in a while throw out some extras to only our patrons. And Amos's works are definitely something that we are probably going to throw out, at least some snippets uh, yeah. to patrons only. Like, but what brought you into, um, I guess, hey, that's really cool. It took some time for that to happen. Oh, look, I don't like that one. Oh, that one's boring. Oh, I've done that one before. I'm hearing, that's not what I'm hearing in my head, guys. That's not, yeah. that's not it. Oh, but that open mic. And a lot of times people collaborate, and I really like that. One of my favorite things to do with other music. Pick up flaws. That's a good talent. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> well, it, no, you put it in front of people with music. Mm. So doing it in front of a screen and a camera. Read the first three chapters of the show that would have become Heroes, because that's exactly what it was when we started <laughs> yeah. writing it in 1995. It's actually, it's actually very similar also to George R. R. Martin's series Wild Cards, mm. where they did pretty much exactly the same thing at roughly the same time that we were doing it, where they, like one guy, like George would start the story, mm -hmm. and then another one of his friends that was in his like writing group would continue the story with a different character, and then another friend in the group, you know, same, exactly the same concept. Yeah. And they wrote about very similar characters as what you I broke out the only instrument I know how to play really well. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, Rock Band and Guitar Hero have come back into my life after many years absent. Uh, my youngest son, Isaac, broke out the gear this past weekend, and we played like two or three nights of just jamming mm -hmm. the hell out on Rock Band, and man, it has been so long since we played these games, but they are so much fun. Mm -hmm. and you guys be amused by this? I'm like really, really bad at Rock Band. <laughs> no, that doesn't surprise me at all. That's I'm really bad at it because I keep trying to like oh. play guitar chords and it's not. It's just like those one button things and I get all like, ah, oh, and I can't. It's just well, you, like you a know how they, Do you know how they, uh, they deconstructed the songs? Because originally mm -hmm. what they did is they took the, the tablature for the song and c condensed that stuff, whether it's promotion, uh, working with charity, uh, uh, technical support, any, any of that stuff, uh, just go check it out. RitualMisery.com slash 2017 streamathon. Uh, I apologize for the long URL. Like an actual writer for Yes, he's TV. an actual like Hollywood like uh, writer. Mm. So yeah, so so good. Like those episodes are so amazing. Well, tell it anyway is back. Mm. It's in a slightly new form, but it is it, uh, it's on the same feed. So if you're a, a subscriber to the old Tell It Anyway podcast, you're you're gonna get this in your feed. Uh, it's Ginny and Matt doing a a like basically watch through of Cheers, and it made me so happy. Cheers is probably my favorite TV show of all time, and <laughs> Tell It Anyway is one of my favorite podcasts of all time. And to get Though, like the combination of those two things made me just like a happy little boy a few <laughs> days ago, and um, I yeah, so awesome, guys. Just check it out if you guys like Jenny Josephson, just just please check it out. If it's you've uh, never heard of Jenny Josephson, first of all, shame on you. Second of all, go listen to Tell It Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, and as far as Tell It Anyway goes, I I can't say why, but if you're happy, Tell It Anyway is coming back. You're welcome. Well, and okay, so since you mentioned that, <laughs> it was my first source of political satire. Yes. Oh yeah, mine too. Absolutely. Like it, it was. The, the mag it's basically a, sat a satirical uh, magazine form comic book. Yeah. I'm, telling, I'm telling anybody watching or listening that if they want to ask Allie Gerst to come on the show, by all means, <laughs> I'm not going to do it because I'm trying to stay out of jail. Uh, what have you got going on in the near future that folks should know about? Um, well, I'm going to sound redundant again, but the Twitch shows are on um, every Friday and Saturday night at twitch.tv Christy Cakes. Um, we do a, it's called Rebel Friday. Rebel Friday has kind of like a space theme to it, like an outer space theme, so that's pretty fun. Um, and then Saturday is just kind of our classic uh, live show going out to Cakes. Again, twitch.tv Christy Cakes. Streaming, or streaming. Uh, uh, 10 p.m. Pacific. Yay. We don't say that often enough. This little button right here, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's a good button. time. Uh, okay, and that's show notes. So that's done. <clears throat> we need to, let's see, handbrake is done. Go back here, and I now have, I have 146, the MP3 file, 146, the MP4 file, and 146 YT. So we can go ahead and close these here. Open a YouTube. A YouTube. <laughs> uh, I see that getting going, getting, getting kind of crazy. Getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of crazy. Um, okay, and so here's this. We grab this file right here and drag it to there. This will be interesting. I'll be uploading. Oh, yep, and it just totally killed the stream. Uh, 
getting all kinds of chunky now. And this should go over here. There we go. So we grab this. Put that there. Grab all of this. And no, Willie, before you ask, I don't do links in YouTube. That shit depresses me because, it's, again, it's a language I simply just don't understand. Add to playlist. Let's remove this podcast all. Custom thumbnail. We go back over here to here. This grab that go here and change this. Click these. Hit OK. <coughs> Excuse me. And for tags, we're going to go Christy, Kate, Brock, Bams, Hughes. What else do we have on here? We don't have a Ted, Alaska, a Aurora. Apple TV, Streamathon, Star Wars, and that's it. We'll leave it there. Control A, Control C, Add, go here, Control V, that same junk. And, of course, we upload everything to archive.org because, once again, it's free. And we take these two files here and drag them over there. And then also... And... Tags, we can paste tags in there while we're at it. Graphics and logos. Three, nine, I don't remember which one we're using. Oh, shit. I think it's the JPEG we're using now. And drag it over there. Because why the hell not? Except that can't be that that can't be like that. Um, control C, go back here. One forty six. Paste it. Edit. One forty six. And now I can drag it, and drop it. All the titles here have to be named the same thing, and I uh, it's it's whatever. So we go back over to here, go to the top, control V, go here, control A, control C, control V, there's that, and 
This is recorded 2017, 10 shites, 10, 19. 19, video, terrorist, language, English, blah, 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 blah. There's all that. Make sure I get the right files over there, which I think I do. <laughs> Tweet our asses to the masses. Wow. I mean, you know, that's... Is <laughs> <laughs> Need one that says uh uh give a, give a buck and, or give a fuck and give a buck and link to the Patreon to show up like once a day at a certain time. That'd be sweet. All right, so there's all that. Is YouTube done uploading yet? It is done uploading, so now I can upload this. I don't like to upload both of them at the same time because they, they conflict. They get pissed off at each other and stuff and it's it's a sad day. Okay, well, this shouldn't take very long to, to set up. And then once it does, we paste that down here. And then we're done. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. Because once we hit that, we hit the old publish button and call it a day. Is it actually working? So if I go here, and then I go here, and I type, I punch that in there, and I click that, and it opens this up, nothing actually comes up. Like, is that something that I'm doing wrong? Because nothing came up. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Y'all messing around. Why oh, didn't you think about it? Uh, I should be. Gaming the system a little bit here with some some it. I guess I can't. Not with the way I have my system set up right now. So we can go 
commands and custom. And then you're looking at the tweet one, right? So if I go here and edit, does that help at all? Okay, wait, hold on. Uh, so we grab this MP3 right here, copy link address, and that comes down here. Um, verify. Copy link address. That goes there and verify. So if you set it up to where it'll uh, it, it's MP it's a web streaming capable and handbrake, this these times will show up right here. If not, then they won't. And yes, there's explicit content because I'm a fucking potty mouth, that's why. And that's done. Now we hit the old publish button. Make sure we check this right here. I don't need to go in any random places. Hit the old publish button right there. You can close that out. <coughs> okay, that's still processing. So there's all that. That's uh that's essentially how it's published and it should be live now. It should be getting pushed out to all the podcatchers out there. Uh, we still do need to go to here. Well, we picked up a new patron, but then we didn't gain any any money from it, so that's that's whatever. Um, one forty-five. So yeah, okay. Uh, go ahead and post. Post in a video because that's how we do this thing. Go here and grab. Copy link address. Go here, hit V. That put pops up. Let me come here and grab this and bring it over here. And then grab all that and bring it over here. And then this right here, for whatever reason, it always wants to make it a heading, which it should not be. And then it always wants to add an extra line up here. So this ends up being the heading, and this ends up being bold. There. Now that's published. That's all ready. We will charge our patrons because otherwise we wouldn't be doing anything at all. And I'm also going to upload. 146 and the audio file. Yeah. And let that upload. Okay, so Oh, see now that's working. That's beautiful. Okay, and then that's done. We hit publish now. All right. Um, there we go. That's uh, that is how Ritual Misery podcast is published. Plus a bunch of stuff with Twitch and Nightbot and the other thing that I can't remember that, that we that we use. Studio mode. Foreground, and we go to viewer accounts. Uh, still didn't show the Twitch viewer accounts. I'm sure that's screwed up somewhere. Hmm. 
Yeah, there just needs to be more delegation for these stupid sites and stuff. They're just it, why I don't understand why it doesn't delegate more. It'd be really nice if it did. Yeah. For whatever reason, here recently, I just changed the picture over here. It has to be a JPEG. The PNGs weren't coming up as to as the cover art. It would come up as just a scene from from the thing, and that's that's not what we wanted at all. So. All right, there's all that. Um, we're done with that. I believe Willie is done with this. I think he's done stressing himself out with that for the day. Um, that's still processing, but uh, we can hit the old publish button. That'll make that make the <laughs> make the r the other links actually work. That's that's what we should have done like a long damn time ago. That was smart. Uh, what is this right here? One unread a notification. Oh yay! Okay, well that didn't. That's that's boring. Um, we can do that by itself. We don't need to be there for that anymore. And all this is done. Got one more episode for the for the show. Um, and I really appreciate uh, really appreciate. R r r <laughs> I talk. Obviously not. That, ladies and germs, is how we publish the show. Um, next time, next time, you know, I think, I think next time we'll go through and this is my next little extra episode, we'll go through and we'll calculate all the numbers and I'll show you my process for, for actually crunching the numbers and uh, looking at trends and and seeing how well we're doing based on past performance versus future expectations and stuff, and kind of go through that process of how. You know how I came to to the process that I have and and what that's going on with. So I think we'll do that. Other than that, uh, it's been uh, it's been a blast. It's been fun. Uh yeah, there we go. That's that's actually pretty good. Uh, let's go back to Nightbot real quick, so we can get rid of that shit. Um, spam protections. We're just going to disable all of them and see what kind of shitty chaos that just ends up bringing. RSS feed for your YouTube channel you can use. Yeah, I wish we had an actual channel ID, like a real channel ID. We need more subscribers for that, though. We've only got like 67 or 73 or something like that. Um, we need more. More, 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 more. It's always more. It's always more. Well, this is pure luck because we don't have any copyright strikes or guideline strikes. Yeah, screw those cool dudes over VOD Squad. <coughs> yeah, the, I don't know. I don't know when YouTube changed that. Um, That's not bad. Oh, 
I don't know. I don't. I don't even know where all this stuff is. I used to know all of this crap, and I don't know jack damn it anymore. No. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Um, okay, so that's it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, g- grab my shower and head into bed for the next couple hours. <laughs> 69 views. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, the excessive emote settings set for, uh, they are set for as soon as I'm annoyed by it, by it I hit the, the boot button, if that's a thing, because that's what I would do. The emotes are like the one thing that I hate most about chat, about Twitch chat. I just I can't stand it. I find it super irritating. Oh. All right. Um, so super fun and really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for hanging out. And thanks for all the work, uh, uh, both of you guys, uh, uh, Jotmon and Willie. Um, really, it's really kick-ass to have people like you that are helping out and working on the sides and stuff like that and just sharing your knowledge and sharing the things that you do for us. So hopefully we bring you a couple of laughs a week. And if not, then, uh, shit, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, all that being said, it's, uh, I got, I, I really do got to go. I've been probably streaming for two hours now. Yeah. Live for two hours and 15 minutes. Uh, I'm totally killing my average. So, um, but about it, whatever. Uh, hopefully the affiliate comes soon. That all being said, uh, thanks guys, and I will catch you. Well, let's. I'll I'll try to do another one. It'll probably be on the weekend because this Monday night stuff is hard. But uh, I might uh, I might actually start streaming some stuff on Monday or Tuesdays for the IKMZ thing. Like I said, so yeah, thirty three followers. We need uh, seventeen more followers, and uh, our, our average I think would probably be pretty good because we usually get several people watching during the week or during the show but we'll see if you guys have ideas on how to improve the show how to improve the live stream or what you would like to see if you'd like to me to go behind the scenes on anything else let me know i've been doing this for about three years so i do have a decent process uh i'm not saying i'm an expert though so or if there's some kind of content that you think i'd be good at putting out there like by all means let me know i, I i'll make it happen so yeah, Vod Squad, they 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 got twenty one followers and uh we're uh we're twelve ahead of them and we need to stay twelve ahead of them until we're affiliated because that's how that works. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah, hopefully when this goes out there, Christy Kates will kick some over and we'll get some some stuff there and there. That'd be great. All that being said, I do gotta go. Uh appreciate you guys. Peace. <laughs>